All right, uh, added a couple targets to my target collection, to my range. Um, this is uh, Air Venturi, um, rat on a stick, and it's auto reset. I'm sure you've seen this uh, target before. It's got three adjustable reducers on it, a half inch. This is a one inch, and the hole in the rat's 1.5, but you know, knock down the paddle, hit the lower paddle, and it resets. Um, first thing I did to make it stable was to take a hollow core block and set it in there, and I had a little leftover concrete mix, so poured it, made sure it was level. Now the problem I had with this target, it's rated 20 foot-pounds, so my streamline is hitting with about 20 foot-pounds at 50 yards and this is where I set it at and this paddle uh, it was hitting it so hard that it hit and rebounded and it made this come back so you can see here I added a bolt and it just added enough weight to it that uh, it got the right amount of swing so that was a good addition there so and as you can see behind it, I added the block for a little bit of insurance. So it seems to be working good. And it is good to have these auto reset uh, targets so you don't have to be pulling strings and stuff. So that's working out good. Now I'll show you my next target. Okay, here's my next target. I was able to, uh, I was looking for a place around here that sold steel and ran into a guy that was in a sprinkler shop and got talking to him and he actually gave me about six foot of this uh, three and a half by two and a half steel angle so I utilized that but let me show you what I did in the back here and I might have to get down low with this but I used the existing target. Now this is a champion knockdown target for 22, so it's plenty strong. But just hitting it with the pellet rifle would not be a challenge. So what I did is add this bell on the back. So if you do hit through and it hits that, it rings the bell. Um, what I'm finding out right now, the bell isn't moving that much you can see it sort of gets stuck in there and so the ding here sounds about the same as the ding that's on the metal so I'm about to add a little split ring see if I can get a little bit more moving out of it I have the camera go. So maybe when it hits, I'll get a little bit more ring. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna take a few shots at this and see if we can hear the impact.
Okay. Uh, you could hear the bell at 11 shots. I hit it twice, I believe. And it's not real loud, but you can tell when you hit it. So, so I had this other bell. And it was part of this door chime thing. And I didn't want to sacrifice it, but I did cut it off. And the good thing about this, it's got a, a round hole in the top. So it should free, should swing freer. So I'm going to put it on and see if we can see the difference. Okay. I installed the other bell. Let's see if it swings freer or sounds better. All right, I think I got a couple hits out of that. Um, this target's at 62 yards, shooting the Terminators with the 22 Streamline, and the wind was playing havoc. Had a few shots that missed the steel altogether. Um, but that bell wasn't as loud, so I might switch back to the other one. Okay, I'm going to try something different here. Took a piece of string. Thought you can see how it bell can jump around a lot more. So we'll see if that makes a difference in sound. All right. See if I can get any shots on target. Well, I heard the bell ring once and it seemed to jingle more because of being on the string. The problem is, at this distance with the wind that's uh, out right now, I couldn't see pellet impact, so it's hard to judge. So I think I need to paint my target white and maybe just go with the outline of something so I can see where pellets are hitting. But review the video and see what's going on.